Hey guys, welcome to another video on aging. And in this video, I'm going to talk about misrepair theory of aging. There. Misrepair theory of aging. And I just want to clarify for the non scientists out there that theory in the scientific sense means does it doesn't mean that it's a normal random theory that people just pull out of their head. A theory in science is a hypo or is a hypothesis that is rigor rigor rig that has been tested multiple repeatedly and passed these tests. Ugh, got my words tons of stood up a moment ago. Uh, it's kinda late. Anyway, so the misrepair theory means that even after the DNA polymerase or whatever repair mechanisms in the body has tried to repair the damage, usually by uh, incorrect um, base pairs or mutations in the bases, it would still, they, they go past it, but they don't come back and check, oh, there's there still a problem. Or if they replaced it or they tried to repair it, the repair st still isn't working properly. And an example I could think of is probably a lot of car repair companies. They fix the car piece, they charge you a bunch of money, and then in a week or so you find the problem is still there. So this is essentially the sort of problem they kind of repair and then they overlook it. So this is how it, how it looks. So let's imagine this is the DNA molecule. And I hope my... Uh, touchpad drawing skills have improved. And actually, I'll just put these as, pretend these are individual bases, these two circles. Now, I'll color one of them red to show that this one is incorrect. Now, the the body has, at least while DNA uh, polymerase is copying, going around and, let's say, pretend the green is DLA po DNA polymerase. Now on the tail end of DNA polymerase, pretend this is one part, one subunit of DNA polymerase. It has a repair mechanism. So DNA polymerase is moving through and copying base pairs. Actually, the, the DNA here is supposed to be unwinded by uh, DNA helicase and twisted opens, but I would just pretend this is drawn that way. But I just want to show that in this case, DNA polymerase will be moving up, and then when it notices a broken base pair, the part right here, I'll circle it, the part right there, oh that's not a good circle, but anyways, uh, that part right there will um, slow down DNA polymerase's movement, and then it will switch out it would cut off the broken, or I guess I would say mutated DNA segment. And then it would recopy or it'll place better, supposedly, the repaired DNA segment. Before then it moves on to the next one. But then sometimes it messes up. Sometimes it get it it moves past the broken uh, DNA segments and don't replace it. So the body thinks it works perfectly. And then you have more DNA strands. Now let's just draw more DNA strands. More DNA strands all around the body. All right. And I'll just draw some red. And then each of them has these broken parts mutated base pairs that the DNA polymerase or other repair mechanisms didn't correct. And now the entire body, now so the body works less efficiently. The body functions less efficiently. So that's basically how it works. And that could of course cause all these problems like cancer and over the overall decline in health associated with aging. Um, all right, so in this next part, I just deleted that part. I want to talk a little bit about uh, Aubrey de Grey's plan or how he sees the problem of aging. So there's three classes uh, or types of groups that are still working on the solution. 
and all right so here we have all right okay so metabolism uh metabolism and then what happens to metabolism it causes damage and what does damage lead to it leads to pathologies pathologies being diseases actually you probably shouldn't be drawn like an arrow this way usually it's seen as moving only in one direction now there are the three the three parts or the three groups that study in this uh, aging is the gerontologists or at least that's one of them I'll just put it back gerontology and now we have uh, geriatrics so gerontology deals with the metabolism metabolism um, uh, which is just the total sum of all the body reactions in the body causes damage but what they're trying to do is that they're trying to slow down the damage it's a losing battle because to slow something down it's like it's like trying to slow down a tidal wave you have to have a lot of knowledge if you're trying to slow down the uh, damage um, caused by metabolism but we just don't know much about our metabolism yet and the geriatrics approach tries to prevent uh, the pathologies from killing us so the damage is already there and now they're just trying to prevent the end result of this of these damage or the damage so that's like that's like treating cancer treating cancer um, so I, I like using cancer because I also want to research, research cancer in the future. So it's like treating cancer. It's it's a losing battle because you've already got all this damage in all of your cells. If you have if you've had cancer once, chances are you're gonna have it again because that's just one. It's like one mushroom growing on a log. The damage is already there, so cutting off that mushroom doesn't stop the log from growing more mushrooms. I mean, of course, you have to have spores in the mushrooms, but the damage is like the spores. It's already there, and now it just has to proliferate. So this is Aubrey de Grey's approach. You start from the area of damage, and now you want to reverse it, or rather prevent, not only prevent the damage from getting worse, but have repair mechanisms working in the body. So this is Aubrey de Grey's. It's repair or regen regenerative regenerative medicine. Now this is something that's, um, but I think right now since we have a limited knowledge of how the body works, uh, we c it's better than gerontology and ger gerontology and geriatrics or geriatrics. We don't need to slow it down, but we don't we don't know we don't need to know that much to repair something. We have telomerase, you know we have telomerase to slow down uh, the shortening of the telomeres and let's see what other stuff are there um, well I know we have a lot I've read about them but I just can't pull it out off the top of my head so I'll make in the next video I'll probably make I'll probably explain to you all these different methods on what they're doing to slow down damage oh wait okay so I remember some of them at least so there's some of them that we already know is such as the buildup, the buildup of extracellular junk. So you got proteins stuck inside cells that the, that nothing is no nothing is trying to get rid of it, and you got junk building on the outside of cells that nothing is working to get rid of it. So for that we can use enzymes, uh, maybe increase the concentration of one enzyme or design perhaps a drug that can get rid of it or and then let's see also we got stem cell we can regenerate you are using stem cell therapy to regenerate the the cells that are that have been damaged but that cannot replicate by itself the cells more, specific, more specifically the cells that are in a Z, g0 state a growth zero state in that it doesn't replicate until until it has a signal to replicate something called a growth factor and growth factors are what triggers these uh, these things to devalue again
such as neurons. Uh, but I think neurons, neurons, it's, it's been a myth that neurons don't divide. So it's been recently shown that neurons, the amount of neurons we have throughout our lifetime is about the same. It's not like, if, it's not like a neuron dies and it, die, it dies forever. I mean, that neuron dies, but the body replaces it with another neuron. But what it's, it's been shown that what decreases, um, as we get older is the functionality of these neurons, the same as stem cells. The stem cell count doesn't decrease and actually it may even increase in many cases. But stem cells don't work as, as well as they used to. I mean, that's usually, uh, scientists think is due to damage, is due to an aging niche, uh, a buildup of other DNA problems that causes the niche not to function properly because when stem cells are transplanted into a younger patient from an older patient, then it works just as well as if the stem cell was younger again.